or 12 years since the September 11th terrorist attacks. We will have more on the president's address on Syria coming up in just a minute, but first, so much has changed since 9-11, especially in air travel. Our Jonah Kaplan is live at Mitchell International Airport this morning with a look at some of the different security measures there. Hi, Jonah. Hi, good morning, Susan. Good morning, Vince, and a pleasant good morning, everyone. Let's go back even 12 and a half years to life before 9-11, especially at the airports. Remember, we can actually, anyone can go through security. We can go to the gate. We can greet our family. We could leave, well, we didn't really have laptops, I guess, but anything was in the bag, and we could pack a lunch with a drink. So is it time to perhaps revert back to pre-9-11 security, especially now that we've been 12 years since 9-11? Well, a new program called Expedited Security, the pre-screen, is coming to MKE, and we wanted to ask you, the traveler, what you thought about that. Here's how it works. Think of it as a three-way partnership between the airlines, the government, and you. Frequent flyers will have the option to sign up for a pre-screen and background check through the TSA. So when you're at the airport, if you've been approved, you could keep your shoes on, your belt on, keep the laptop in the bag. And again, we ask you, the traveler, is this a good idea? I like, like it the way it is. And, um, you know, it's a little inconvenient, but um, I think it's, I think they're on the right page and it's, it's doing what it's supposed to do. Making travel quicker is always a good idea, but at the risk of security, it's, it's worth the extra time to go through taking your shoes off and going through the different security checks just to make sure that everything is secure, especially in our world today. The TSA says the pre-screen program will, should roll into MKE and more than 40 other airports by the end of the year. Later on Daybreak, Y911 has also had a huge impact on our wallets when it comes to travel, and this has nothing to do with security. Here at the airport, Mitchell International, Jonah Kaplan for today's TMJ4. Okay, we look forward to that information, Jonah. Thanks very much. Milwaukee Mayor Tom Barrett and County Executive Chris Abley will hold a special ceremony at the Milwaukee War Memorial Center. A live look at the event today. Wreaths will be placed in the reflecting pool at the Veterans Courtyard. The ceremony begins at 7.30 this morning.